And I got sausage fat around it because you know I got to make it sound thick. What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be remaking Blueberry Fago by Lil Mosey. It's going up on the charts, it's like top 5 on Spotify right now, so why not remake it? This song was actually leaked like late last year, maybe mid-summer last year, not positive on the date. But now it's starting to blow up because it's been officially released. Before I get started, don't forget to follow me on my socials at WTF Kyle Beats. And now let's get into it. So Blueberry Fago produced by Callan actually samples the song Johnny Gill, My, My, My. And let me tell you right now, YouTube is not happy that I'm using this song in this video. They're trying to give me copyright. So if you don't hear me like showing you guys a lot what I'm taking from this, you'll know why. And so this is what the sample sounds like just a little bit. And so from this song, I'm going to go to 14 seconds and then about a minute and 40 seconds in, and I'm going to cut two different samples out. First thing I did was I dragged it into the playlist, made the tempo 99 BPM, and then pitched it up like 500 cents-ish. And so the first sample cut is going to sound like this. Okay. And that's going to be like used for the intro of the song. And then the second sample that I'm going to use is this one right here. And again, it's pitched up a little bit. It's so catchy, I love that one. So to make this sound more like the song, I'm throwing a Fruity Love filter, I'm throwing on two EQs, I think they look exactly the same. And then I'm throwing on RC20 Retro Color, add a little bit of noise, make it sound more lo-fi, classic. I don't know why I have that limiter there. And then this is what we get. Not showing you anymore because I don't want copyright strikes. If this was GTA, I'd have five stars right now. So now when Callan made this song, he actually took that sample and then put a melody over it. So I'm gonna hop into Omnisphere. I'm gonna grab this preset dynamic sprinklers. I mean, sounds pretty sick. This is the melody we're gonna play without any effects on it. So I'm gonna take these chords. I'm gonna throw on two EQs that look exactly the same. A little bit of reverb. RC20 Retro Color to add some uh, texture to it, and then Stereo Shaper because I like using it. This is what we got so far for the melody and the background noise. Next up is the clap. If you're 99 BPM, the clap's playing on two and four. I grabbed two different ones. So the first one I grabbed was this clean clap that I got, and then I layered it with this Kyle Beats Andromeda clap. I think that's how you say it, Andromeda. I always pronounce it wrong. Andromeda is like a free beat pack that Kyle Beats dropped this past week or two. It's got 808s, claps, kicks, hi-hats. Pretty much everything you want link in the description if you want to go check it out it's free so why not download it but so those two claps together are going to sound like this and we're just going to throw that into the chorus right here next up is the kick i'm using another one of these free kicks from that beat pack and these are the notes that we're going to play with a kick EQ'd out the highs just a little bit to make it less punchy. And I got sausage fat around it because you know I got to make it sound thick. Next up, I'm going to throw in the 808. I'm just grabbing this normal 808.5 that I got. These are the notes that we're going to play with the 808. And this 808 pretty much copies the kick, but there's a few grace notes right here, like this C5, and then a couple more that don't match the kick exactly. Add a little more texture to that beat. I'm throwing on sausage fat in her, but it's literally like 1%, so not a ton. I'm sorry, you guys, if you're disappointed. And then I got an EQ right here and a limiter just so it doesn't clip. Next up is a rim shot. Kind of a classic rim shot right here. I think it's out of a Zaytoven kit, maybe. And this rim shot is just going to be playing the and and the uh of three every two bars. Next up, we got a ton of different hi-hats. It gives this song a lot of bounce and like a different feel than just straight eighth notes. First thing I grab is just a regular hi-hat. I have four out of a kit that I got. And these are the notes that this is going to play. I've got like a shorter hi-hat. That's this hi-hat 017B, I guess. Layer with an Andromeda hi-hat from Kyle's kit. And this is what that's going to sound like. Lastly, I got one more long hi-hat that plays on the and of three. So all together with no effects on, this is what that's going to sound like. So it sounds kind of crappy right now, but when you throw it on the song, it sounds good. I also EQ'd the short hi-hat, and I basically threw Sausage Fattener on everything because why not? If you guys don't know what Sausage Fattener does, it basically makes everything sound better. It can take a boring sounding 808 like this and make it sound like this. I mean, what more could you want? And so here's everything we got so far with the beat and the sample. Now I almost forgot, on the seventh bar of every eight bar pattern, the hats are gonna do this cool thing like for an effect. And last but not least, I know what you guys want for this intro to go into this chorus. 
I know you want to hear that record scratch and that producer sound effect, but that's Callan's thing. I'm not stealing it in this video. What I will do is I'll add a symbol to transition into the chorus. So I'm gonna grab two things. I'm gonna grab this crash symbol that plays on beat one. And then I'm gonna grab this symbol, suspended symbol roll basically that goes into beat one. And then all together, this is what that transition will sound like. And that is the whole beat, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want to see the fully remade beat, link in the description because YouTube won't let me put it in this video. Don't forget to follow me on my socials and I'll see you guys next time.